Hi, it's DNA Sims here. Welcome to my channel of gaming slash entertainment. I guess that's how I'll sum up my channel if anybody's really watching this, but <laughs> um I am back to playing Sims Pet Stories, trying to finish up Steven's story. I feel like I haven't played this in a while, so I'm like, let me get into it because I barely remember what happened last time. So yeah, he's still taking care of the cat, so nothing new there. Um, for those who have watched, y'all can probably remember, I think when he went to the store or something, I don't know, I don't want to see him in the bathroom. But anywho, we just have Diva sleeping on the bed. She looks so cute. I am a total cat person, so don't mind me. I'm just a weird cat lady, but she's super cute. Look at her. Okay, well, he's going into the bathroom, but yeah, I'm just basically taking care of his needs. So it's nothing really new to see here as of right now. But she just looks so cute sleeping. Aw. Oh, okay. So yes, I'm on chapter seven. <laughs> I basically forgot like what chapter I'm on. It's been so long. It's still me in. Okay, they said you need to increase Steven's cooking skill in order to create the next dish for the Midnight Masquerade. Okay. I mean, he's almost, his cooking skills is almost maxed out. Oh, now it is. Okay, he said, I can't believe that Swindler Gordon is trying to work his magic on both Aaron and Rachel. I'd give him a piece of my mind right now if I didn't have to get working on the lobster thermidor for Julianne. Yeah, you need to focus on your work, not Gordon. He is a non-factor. Yay, so he max maximized the cooking skill. Eureka, looks like I know all there is to know about the subject yes steve come on let's prepare this lobster come on oh okay this big old thing okay realism oh oh we go straight to the lobster okay y'all see the detail you know i was seeing oh he didn't cut itself that's realistic though and that's what I was getting to about Sims 2. Like, it is very realistic as far as how they prepare the meals and stuff. Of course, you can't see everything. Like, look at that. What is he holding? But <laughs> it's still realistic in the sense, like, they actually open the cabinet drawers and everything. And, like, Sims 4, like, it's just a bowl magically appears. Like, look. Look at the detail. Y'all see him. Main course should be a hit at the masquerade if I can keep the cat hair out of it. Yeah, Diva. No, I'm watch Diva. Back up. We just cooked this. He says, stay away, Diva. Go play where you're scratching post. Exactly. Diva, I don't have time. I don't have time. He said, lobster dishes are some of my favorite. I can't help but feel a little guilty when I throw them into the boiling water, though. Mm, I don't. Not with crabs, especially. I love me some crab legs. And um, I'm not cooking them live, though. <laughs> but I definitely don't feel bad about eating some crab legs. They don't know how good their legs are. She said, hello, Steven. Do you have the lobster thermidor ready? Excuse me. Why is my door unlocked for her to just bust in? But continue he says oh hello julianne here you go she oh, said thank you steven this looks great okay look she already got um why was it a negative interaction though you're the one that busted in my house okay the last time i checked bosses should not have this much leeway he said all right all right i guess you've been good here oh he gave her a treat she was good she deserved that. Diva deserved that. She hasn't been worsome, so I'll take that. But she's still howling at me. I'm trying to figure out why. Oops, I shouldn't have stopped him from cleaning. He said, I should invite James over. It's been a while since we hung out. Right. Plot twist. He's probably hanging out with Gordon. Have lunch. Need to invite James over. Let's see if he'll actually come over. Um... He got a lot of friends. Okay, let's see. You should try calling back when James isn't at work. Who are you, Kadisha? Kadisha, oh, I guess that's his wife. I didn't realize he was at work. Well, what am I supposed to do? I guess I'll wait till he's off, but I don't know when he's off. Fine. And she didn't have to be rude about it. Like, excuse me, Kadisha, you know me. Or Kadisha. I don't know. She didn't have to be like that, though. She had to be so stank about it. Call back when he's at work. Yeah. Or don't call back. Uh-uh. All right. What's with the attitude, Kadisha? James is at work. Working. 
I'm sorry, I got the day off. I wanna hang with my friend. I don't know when he's off. Could you at least let me know? Okay, now it'll let me do it. Okay, let should I invite the household? No, I don't wanna see Kadisha. She rude. Baby. What James about to say. He said, How nice of you to invite me. I'll just gussy up and come right over. <laughs> okay. Watch she gonna be here in like three seconds. Is James here? Cause the goal just uh, yep, he's here. Here I am thinking Aaron is perfect. Then in walks this Rachel. What do you think, Diva? Wow, he's getting her advice. <laughs> he's getting her advice on which girl to date. Apparently, Rachel don't want you. You show you know how she showed up on that last date looking like a librarian. Um, James, can you say hey to me? Like, why are you gonna walk in and just cut on a TV? Like, really? Okay. Alright, let's talk. He said I should shoot the breeze with James and see if I can get some dirt. Steven, why are you being messy? Leave Diva alone so you can talk to James, please. Let's get the story um progressing. Okay, he said this place looks like a petting zoo. Excuse me, my house is clean. He said, I'm taking care of Celeste's cat, remember? So is there any news on Gordon? He said, man, I can't deal with the animal sanctuary this place has become. Meet me at the flat hat bar and I'll fill you in on the details. Excuse me, James, you a little rude. Like, you didn't have to walk out the house like that. All you could have said was, can we go to the bar? I'm not feeling the cat being around. Like, that's all you had to say. He said, I could use a few rounds of cards. The flat hat bar it is, really. James, you rude. You could at least wait for me. Like, why are you leaving to go to the bar and we can go together? Like, dude. Okay, let's go. Who's picking us up? Look at him. Are you beeping? You just pulled up. Is it uh, Sean again? Oh, it's you. I should have known it was you. You always come to pick me up. What's your name again? Rosemary. Rose is always picking me up and always got the most attitude. Like, excuse me, I'm coming. Oh, he's attracted to her, Rosemary. Ooh, let me find out. Let me see their relationship. They don't have one. I mean, you can't necessarily talk to her, but that's interesting. All right, let's have a seat upstairs and get playing. Can I look at the place first? I mean, it's kind of a cool bar. It's a little weird design, but we'll go with it. I mean, okay. Got all, I mean, James got all that attitude. Like, why did he act like my house was so disgusting? Like, I only have one cat. Okay, he said, so, the news is that the police in Arbor Falls have determined the con man's last name starts with an S. That means Gordon Fetching can't be our guy. He said, you know, he's going to the masquerade with Aaron. And I admit, I am pretty jealous. Then again, I can't believe how much fun I had with Rachel the other night. Help me out, James. What should I do? Uh, Steve, you're starting to get a little desperate for me. Uh, oh, Rachel ran in here. He said, you should start by taking a look at who just walked in. I wonder if she'd like to join us. Okay, we'll ask her. Ask her to join. Okay, I like the... Well, I don't like the fact that slow music is playing right now and they're at a bar, but okay. James, why are you looking at her like that? Ain't you married? I see that ring on your finger. She said, what are we playing? Sim Rummy. <laughs> the rules are... Uh, who is this? Is this Gordon? Oh, okay, I about to say that's a random guy. She said, I win. What were you saying, James? This girl never fails to surprise me. Y'all barely started playing. I don't understand how, how she won. She said, dance with me, Steven. I want to talk to you. Do you really, Rachel? He said, absolutely. Look at him. Look at him falling into her trap. You don't even know what she's about to do. Because I, I for sure don't know. But we're going to change this music, though uh let's do let's do some pop no stop playing cards she just said dance with her what does this thing says rachel loves to dance and so do i yeah that's how y'all met remember at celeste's wedding i can't dance to that it's way too slow okay let's dance to this come on hey it's the song eight 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 no he's getting tired steve work with me dance with rachel hey 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 <laughs> look at how happy she is she's like yeah i can't take snapshots in this game corny but they getting it though okay y'all see him Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Uba Viva Batisha. Okay, what does it say? I wonder, does she think Gordon is a good dancer too? Can you please stop worrying about Gordon? Forget about Gordon. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? Whoa. What is going on? I'm hearing alarms and stuff. I don't understand. Was that a part of the game or? I know I'm not crazy, but okay. I'm just trying to figure out, did anybody else hear that? Am I just, am I the crazy one here? What did I just hear? Okay. Unless that was a part of the song. Okay, how long y'all gonna dance? Oh, okay, I should have been stopped it. <laughs> Rachel, you are some dancer. I need a minute in the ladies room. I'll be right back. Okay. What's up with the weird face, Steve? That's gonna be the thumbnail because what? Your face is stuck. Oh, why are you thinking about James like that? Dancing with Rachel is really something. The way she moves and smiles at me makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. Why is Gordon here? James, why are you laughing like that, dude? What's going on? What is up with y'all? He said, I warned you about Rachel, Steven. First off, she asked me to dance with her. He said, is Gordon trying to pick a fight? I've had enough of this guy. If a fight is what he wants, that's what he'll get. Oh, well, it did say attack. So that's what we're going to have to do. Ah! James, help us out. Wait, that happened so fast. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Aren't you a friend of Steven's? How about an uncle sandwich? Wait, wait, why are they fighting? Where did this come from? Who is he? Anthony Zilch? What is going on? I don't even know if I won the fight with Gordon. I lost? Why did they speed it up? I didn't even see what just happened. How are you going to fight with him and then you how you initiate the fight and you lose that's embarrassing oh james ain't you a cop you got beat up too this is embarrassing for both of y'all i can't even do anything because this weird building look what <laughs> rachel said uh guys what's going on here we were just discussing some costume ideas for the masquerade speaking of would you like to attend with me rachel she said, I'm sorry, Gordon, but I've already agreed to be Steven's date for the masquerade. He said, sorry to hear that, Rachel, but we've always got our side project. Come on, Anthony, let's get out of here. Wow. That's messed up. She said, Gordon makes a good business partner, but I find you more interesting. I hope you didn't mind that little stunt. I was planning to ask you to ask me to be your date. He said, mind? Not at all. Good. See you around, Steven okay that man just lost a fight and was crying a second ago i didn't i did not notice that but it's so much dialogue coming in he said rachel really is something i have knuckles to ice and a cat to see back home so i should get to them both yeah because this is embarrassing like you said you wanted to fight gordon and you lost that's sad are you not ashamed of yourself are you not embarrassed this is really embarrassing go back home james you too james not even talking to him what kind of friend is james again because i don't see why they're close ow that's sad i'm so mad they sped up the fight because i did not i know i didn't press that uh fast forward button here comes simazon again get it instead of amazon no nah, that was corny somebody he said a radio controlled mouse celeste must have ordered this for diva okay she continues to order stuff for diva when are you picking her up because i know your honeymoon was not that long she she's trying to get us she knows that diva is gonna have to end up staying with her staying with us because her husband don't want any cats so Ew. Aww, that's cute well they didn't have cute stuff like this and like the actual full game of Sims 2. That's pretty cute. Aw, radio. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, let's play with it. I wonder if D.Va will stick. 
Oh, that's so cute. Oh no. Okay, so this is the end of chapter seven. Um, it says, all of a sudden things got weirder. I ran into Rachel at the flat hat bar and then Gordon ran into us. That snake asked Rachel to be his date for the masquerade, even though Aaron is already going with him. Oh right, I forgot about that. Rachel really showed him up by telling him she was my date. I did pretty well for myself, I think. No, you didn't. You lost the fight, remember? You were sitting there crying. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Look at that. And still lost. That's embarrassing. Please, Steve. Oh, Diva, do you like it? You just gonna meow at it? You're not gonna play? Chase it. I can't even get a good camera angle at it. Play with it, Diva. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that funny to her, I guess. I mean, overall, his... Oh! Rosemary! I didn't know you dropped him off at work, too. This woman is everywhere. No wonder he liked her so much. She drove him to work and everywhere else. All right, go to sleep. Go to sleep. I know what you're about to say. Yeah, whoo! Go to bed. Thank you. When is chapter 8 going to start? Finally, chapter 8 has started. Fetching 1, loyal 0. What does that mean? Wait a minute, May, wait a minute. Rachel is coming in here? Why does everybody think they can bust into my house? I'm about to start locking doors. That's what I'm going to start doing. Because why is she coming in my space? She said, Steven, you're coming to Club Z with me for some fun. Oh, no, not Club Z again, please. She said, this isn't optional. You've been working nonstop and you need to relax. I really shouldn't, Rachel. I haven't even started working on the ice sculpture for the masquerade. Remember how much fun we had the first time we were there? Come on. Um, does she not remember that was a trash date? And it was like five people there? No. He said, she's right. I still have more to do for the masquerade, but I may as well go have some fun at Club Z. I'm starting to think Rachel is irresponsible. Like, can you let him? Why do you want to go to the club so early at 7 p.m.? Can I make this ice sculpture? Like, they won't even give me that option. Mm. He said Aerie is here with Gordon. I wonder what problems he'll try and cause tonight. Oh, Aaron isn't loyal at all. Wow. I mean, they weren't exclusive anyway. Look at this. Lame club as usual. Boring. Why are they here? Uh-uh. Why are we dancing beside each other? Bye, Aaron. Forget it. She said, hey, Steven, can you sing? The karaoke machine is out back. Let's do a duet. Wow, they really try hard to make this nightlife. He said, time to strain my vocal cords on the karaoke machine. That does not sound like you can sing, Steve. How many creativity skills you got? He might can sing. Okay, where's the karaoke? Oh, they're best friends now. So cute. Ha, <laughs> not the little spin. <laughs> I love it, though. The swaying. Ah, oh, I just, it's the little details for me. That's how I imagine he's singing because I can't hear their voices. Oh, Lord. She is tone deaf. Let me turn it up so y'all can hear this. This is atrocious. Oh, no. I mean, he didn't sound this bad, but Rachel was terrible. Oh, wait a minute. What? What is going on? What is he trying to do with my girl? He said, what a jerk. Can he see Rachel doesn't want anything to do with him? If I kiss Rachel, maybe that creep Gordon will leave her alone. Um, how about we call the cops? That's harassment? Excuse me? You did not get her consent. No, you are not going to do that. Let's do romantic, you know, not too much. Just show, just show off, you know. 
dramatic, but okay. Ooh. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> she says, Steven, are you and Rachel dating now? Um, You didn't care when you were with Gordon just now. He said, well, we, uh, Gordon just sort of. Oh, no. Now Rachel slapping him. Wait, wait, what just happened? Whoa. Okay. Too much drama is happening. She says, sort of. Steven, Steven, Steven. You've got some serious soul searching to do. I'll call you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, no. They're no longer best friends. We just became best friends. Steve, man, what are you doing? Steve, you don't know women. You don't. Gordon said, I'm sorry you had to see that, Aaron. Come. We'll be late for the symphony at Amber Hall. You know what? Bye. No, I don't want to get anything from you, Gordon. He said, oh, by the way, Chief, Aaron couldn't help but make a painting to capture my superior essence. You can have it. Maybe now you'll realize what a real success looks like. Wow. I just want to see what it says. But OK, Steve, you you messed up. He said, what have I done? I'd be surprised if Aaron or Rachel talked to me after tonight. Rachel is right. I've got some things to figure out. I should go home and see Diva. She'll cheer me up. Right. It's like you want to date somebody, but you have commitment issues. So, yeah, you need to work on yourself. Wow, Gordon. He is self-centered. Y'all see that picture? Triumphalism. Really? Painted by renowned artist Aaron Davis, this piece evokes the classical Greek era, eliciting an emotional response akin to wonder. Aragonomically, ooh, did I say that right? <laughs> Lean lines uh, mixed with cool. neoclassical realism shine in this work of art. To call it a masterpiece in a, is an understatement, glorious. I'm going to burn this. I don't want anything Gordon has to give me, and we're going home. Wow, that's so sad. He said, lick my wounds or bake cakes. Wow, that's sad, Steven. You need to go home. Just go home. This was embarrassing. Like, you wanted Rachel, and you couldn't commit to her, and you lost to her as a best friend as well. Like, literally just fell in love with her, became best friends, and she slapped you. That's sad. Poor Steve. Poor, poor, poor old Steve. But I mean, I'll be honest, that was his fault, honestly. Look, he can count on Rosemary, though. That's the only loyal woman in his life right now. That's sad. Uh, he said, things are getting worse. Gordon is getting the better of me, and I suspect that he's he isn't really trying either. I had another great time with Rachel today, but I'm really worried about Erin and how close she's getting to Gordon. He isn't what he seems, and I don't want her to get hurt. Then why didn't you just tell her that? I mean, yeah. <laughs> so that is chapter eight. Steve just got embarrassed um and yeah like i'm definitely excited to finish this storyline i definitely prefer it over alice's storyline this is very entertaining full of drama and if you enjoyed you can subscribe if you want no one is forced and i'll see y'all in another video bye